AutoCAD 2015 offers an improved graphics experience with smoother lines and accurate display of properties when creating and editing line geometry. Objects such as lines, arcs, and circles, and drawing aids like grid lines and the UCS icon look smoother, especially when drawn at an angle. You can enable smooth line display in the new graphics performance dialog box. This control is only for the display and does not affect plotting. In addition to smoother line display, complex line types display as you create and edit them, enabling you to more easily place them. You can control this behavior with the new complex LT preview system variable. AutoCAD 2015 also displays color, line type, and line weight for lines and polylines as you draw them. Selecting objects is more flexible and more obvious in AutoCAD 2015. You can click the cursor in a blank area of the drawing and then drag around objects to create a lasso selection. For a traditional rectangular window or crossing selection, click and release to pick each corner of the rectangle. A new control in the Options dialog box on the Selection tab enables you to specify lasso selection. When you select objects using any method, AutoCAD 2015 offers modern and clear feedback. As you pass the cursor over an object in the drawing, the line geometry appears thicker and darker or lighter depending on the background color. If hardware acceleration is turned on, selecting an object changes its color and it remains thickened to clearly identify it as part of the selection set. Similar visual enhancements help you clearly identify when faces such as solid hatches or 3D solids are selected. In AutoCAD 2015, you can preview the results of common editing commands before committing to them. When selecting an object to extend, for example, it is clearly identified and temporarily extended. When trimming an object, the segment to be removed is dimly displayed and a cursor badge indicates that it will be deleted. The Lengthen tool also supports command preview. It has been further enhanced in AutoCAD 2015 to default to the last lengthen option, such as delta, percent, total, or dynamic, so you no longer have to specify an option each time you launch the command. The Break tool displays the results of the break operation prior to specifying the second point. After selecting a source object from which to match properties, the Match Prop tool temporarily displays those properties on the destination objects as you pass the cursor over them to select. A new command preview control on the Selection tab of the Options dialog box allows you to enable or disable command preview for trim, extend, lengthen, break, and match prop, as well as for fillet, chamfer, and offset operations. The cursor is enhanced in AutoCAD 2015 with badges that reflect the state of many common operations. When within the Scale, Copy, and Move tools, relevant badges indicate the current operations. During a move operation, the selected objects are displayed in their original position with a faded deletion effect instead of a dashed selection effect. Rotation badges are displayed when specifying the angle of rotation during a rotate operation. The badge displays a clockwise or counterclockwise arrow according to the direction specified by the drawing units. An inspection badge is displayed when using inquiry tools such as measure, list, and ID. Zoom and Erase and Delete also display relevant badges. Model space viewports have been significantly enhanced in AutoCAD 2015. They're more flexible and easier to use. After creating multiple viewports in model space, a bright blue boundary clearly identifies the active viewport. You can easily resize any of the viewports by dragging the horizontal or vertical viewport boundaries. Drag the intersection to resize viewports both horizontally and vertically at the same time. New plus icons on the viewport boundaries enable you to easily add more viewports by simply clicking on the icon and dragging to size the new viewport. You can also hold the control key while dragging a boundary to split a model space viewport. Model space viewports can be joined or removed by dragging a boundary to the edge.